Welcome back everyone to Top 10 Videos. Today we're going to talk about the Top 10 Facts or AMD. Fact number one, AMD, which stands for Advanced Micro Devices, is an American worldwide semiconductor company based in Sunnyvale, California, which is in the United States. It is a company that develops computer processors and related technologies for business and consumer markets. While initially it manufactures its own processors, the company began Fabulous after Global Foundries was spun off in 2009. AMD's main products include microprocessors, motherboard chipsets, embedded processors, and graphic processors for servers, workstations of personal computers, and also embedded systems applications. AMD is the second largest global supplier of microprocessors based on the x82 architecture, and also one of the largest suppliers of graphics processing units. AMD is the only significant rival to Intel in a central processor market for x86 based personal computers. Since acquiring ATI in 2006, AMD and its competitor Nvidia have dominated the discrete graphics processor unit market. Fact number two, AMD was formally incorporated on May 1, 1969 by Jerry Sanders, along with seven of his colleagues from Fairchild Semiconductor. Sanders, an electrical engineer, was the director of marketing at Fairchild, had like many Fairchild executives, grown frustrated with the increasing lack of support, opportunity and flexibility within that company, and decided to leave to start his own semiconductor company. The previous year, Robert Noyce, who had invented the first practical integrated circuit, or microchip in 1959 of Fairchild, had left Fairchild together with Gordon Moore, and founded the semiconductor company Intel in July 1968. In September 1969, AMD moved from its temporary location in Santa Clara to Sunnyvale, California, to immediately secure a customer base. AMD initially became a second source supplier of microchips designed by Fairchild and National Semiconductor. AMD first focused on producing logic chips. The company guaranteed quality control to the United States military standard, an advantage in the early computer industry since unreliability in microchips was a distant problem that customers, including computer manufacturers, telecommunications industry, and instrument manufacturers wanted to avoid. Fact number four, in November 1969, the company manufactured its first product, the AM9300, a 4-bit MSI shift register, which began selling in 1970. Also in 1970, AMD produced its first proprietary product, the AM2501 logic counter, which was highly successful. Its best selling product in 1971 was the AM2505, the fastest multiplier available. Fact number 5, in 1971, AMD entered the RAM chip market, beginning with the AM3101, a 64-bit bipolar RAM. That year AMD also greatly increased its sales volume of its linear integrated circuits, and by the year end, the company's total annual sales reached $4.6 million. Fact number 6. AMD went public in September 1972. The company was the second source of Intel MOS LSI circuit by 1973, with products such as AM14-1506, AM14 and 1507, dual 100-bit dynamic shift registers. By 1975, AMD was producing 212 products, of which 49 were proprietary, including the AM9102, which was a static N-channel 1024-bit RAM, and three low-power Stotky MSI circuits, AM25LS07, then we have AM25LS08, and AM25LS09. Fact number seven, in 1977, AMD entered into a joint venture with Siemens, a German engineering conglomerate wishing to enhance its technology expertise and entered the US market. Siemens purchased 20% of AMD stock, giving AMD an infusion of cash to increase its product lines. That year, the two companies also jointly established advanced microcomputers located in Silicon Valley and in Germany, giving AMD an opportunity to enter the microcomputer development and manufacturing field. In particular, based on AMD's second source, Zilog Z8000 microprocessors. When the two companies' vision for advanced microcomputers diverged, AMD bought out Siemens' stake in the US division in 1979. AMD closed its AMD subsidiary in late 1981 after switching focus to manufacturing second source Intel x86 microprocessors. Fact number eight. Total sales in fiscal year 1978 topped $100 million and in 1979, AMD debuted on the New York Stock Exchange in 1979, production also began in AMD's new semiconductor fab in Austin. The company already had overseas assembly facilities in Penang and Manila, and it began construction on a semiconductor fab in San Antonio in 1979. 
1981. In 1980, AMD began supplying semiconductor products for telecommunications, an industry undergoing rapid expansion and innovation. Fact number 9. Before the launch of Athlon 64 processors in 2003, AMD designed chipsets for the processors spanning the K6 and K7 processor generations. The chipset includes the AMD 640 and AMD 751 and AMD 761 chipsets. The situation changed in 2003 with the release of Athlon 64 processors and AMD chose not to further design its own chipsets for its desktop processors while opening the desktop platform to allow other firms to design chipsets. This was the open platform management architecture with ATI, VIA, and SIS, developing their own chipset for Athlon 64 processors, and later Athlon 64X2 and Athlon 64FX processors, including the Quad FX platform chipset from NVIDIA. And fact number 10, as of 2007, AMD Live was a platform marketing initiative focusing the consumer electronics segment, with an active TV initiative for streaming internet videos from web video services such as YouTube into AMD Live, PC as well as connected digital TVs, together with a scheme for an ecosystem of certified peripherals for the ease of customers to identify peripherals for AMD Live. Systems for digital home experience called AMD Live Ready. And that's it for today's top 10 video. Hopefully you learned some new things about AMD. If you have a new suggestion for a future video, just leave me in the comments below. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.